The Xbox Game Showcase has come and gone, and personally, when I watched it, I was rather excited about a bunch of titles, namely Starfield. But they had a few titles that looked interesting. Some of them were like, I'm not even going to give the time of day. Some of them, maybe if they're free. A lot of stuff was coming out on Xbox Game Pass. But as soon as I saw the first two trailers, I was watching for Tango watch it. And I even said in the chat, oh my god, the first three trailers have female protagonist leads. The screeching eels on the internet are going to scream, this is woke nonsense, and boy, was I not disappointed. And I just don't understand it. I could sit here and do a couple of videos and call these people out, but last time I did that, people get their panties in a twist. So, mainly what I'm going to talk about is, I don't think you know what it means when something is woke. Having a female protagonist or a person of color as the main protagonist in the video game, that doesn't make it woke, you mental midget. Games have had female protagonists as the main character, which is redundant because main character protagonist, anyway. Since Metroid released for the Nintendo Entertainment System 36 years ago, nobody cared. For decades and decades and decades, video games came out with female protagonists, selectable characters, and no one cared. No one batted an eye. By the definition that some of these just galaxy-brained individuals, by their definition of woke, that would make Street Fighter, the entire series, woke. Because Chun-Li is a badass. Cammy is a badass. Yuri has some people with foot fetishes all excited right now, but never mind. The idea that you're going to write off a game and scream... Woke, 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 woke. Because it's a woman? You, that makes you look no better than the leftist jacktivist on Twitter screaming that there's just not enough females in games. Both of which are moronic statements. It starts off, like, complaining that one of the hosts... Polygon did a moronic article about this. I'll probably talk about later. Oh no, the host, the host, it's, it's a woman. Oh, it's the end of the goddamn world. I'm sorry, ladies are light and nice to look at. Hmm, what do I know? Okay, she's not light nice to look at. But just because you have a hideous female protagonist with massive eyebrows, they ugly this poor woman up. I don't know why. Oh no, it's woke. Oh no, it's woke. No, no, wait for the game to come out. Wait for more information to come out and then pass your judgment. But then, you get Star Wars Outlaws. Hey, Vess, I believe her name is? She's not bad looking. Oh, she don't need a man. She looks kind of homely. Um, I believe from the trailer, her occupation would be some sort of scoundrel, smuggler. Same thing that Han Solo was doing. So, I'm not, I don't expect her to look like Princess Leia. I'm sorry. I expect her to look rough around the edges. Oh, we don't have a Star Wars game with a male. Oh, it's all got to be women. Star Wars open world. Motherfucker, we got, what is it, Jedi Survivor? That just came out. Male protagonist, past two games. You want me to go through a goddamn list of the past games that have come out this year with male protagonist versus female? Don't give me that goddamn argument. There's been a mix of both of them, but oh my goodness, it gets so much better. Because then you get South of Midnight, the next trailer, and oh... I want to say this idiot's name. I've talked about him before. It's a black woman on a video game. Why are they going to do that? I don't know. First of all, she's kind of cute. And it's a fucking video game. Who cares? Maybe it's part of the story. It looks like the game takes place in South Louisiana. Bunch of Creoles. If you know what that is, you mental motherfucker. Oh my goodness, Star Wars. And then, oh, complaining about Hellblade 2, Senua Saga. I'm pretty sure this is a continuation from the, the previous character. But the one that boggled my mind was hearing someone say that Clockwork Revolution was woke. What is woke about this game? It's the, um... Oh, hell, I can't remember what he said. It just went in, it escaped my brain down a memory hole as fast as humanly possible. Just because... The main character of the game is a woman, doesn't make it woke. Woke is all about ideological nonsense, diversity and inclusion checkboxes, forced into a game above the story. 
The ideology comes first, the story is second. That is what most people have a problem with. When you sit there and scream about, oh, female protagonist is woke, it's woke, it's woke, it's woke, you look stupid, you look foolish. If you want to get into this culture war that's going on right now that a lot of people think is, some people think it's nonsense, some people are fighting hard and heavy against this over and over, it's part of what my channel's about. I call, I call out the nonsense. And this is nonsense. Calling this game woke is nonsense. When you scream, when you automatically pass judgment on a trailer with no game, with, well, very relatively little gameplay, no story, no idea what it is, what the message is going to be, if you scream that it's woke, you diminish your argument completely. When someone is able to take all your talking points and squish them down, label you as an incel, Nobody's going to listen to you. If you're going to bring arguments about woke this, woke that, you have to have proof. You have to have examples of why things don't make sense. I don't scream about woke nonsense for the most part. I scream about piss poor storing, bad CGI, and the reactions that the studios put out when someone criticizes their work. South of Midnight. This game actually looks interesting. But what other games? Screaming that the game showcase was woke based on the first three trailers, two other games. Starfield, customizable characters. Forza Motorsports. Probably going to be whatever you want to. Avowed. Elder, uh, Elder Scrolls Online. RPGs, customizable characters. Towerborn. No idea what that is. What else we got? Star Wars Outlaws. No. Cyberpunk, male or female. Payday 3. Probably male protagonist. Maybe customizable. 33 Immortals. Probably customizable. Dune Flight Sim... Oh, that looks interesting. One person actually said Woke Monkey Island. It's an expansion for Sea of Thieves. Monkey Island is a customizable... It's an online RPG. You make your character whatever you want to. Everyone's screaming about Overwatch being woke. Eh, can't argue there. I don't play the game, but people are a little upset about the ideological... The sense of ideological nonsense that Blizzard has been putting into that game due to the... Uh, changes in long-time characters as far as their gender, not gender, but their sexuality goes. So, in a sense, I can understand that argument. Like a Dragon, male protagonist. Persona 3, I believe that's a customizable character. Fallout 76, I believe that's a customizable character. Still Wakes the Deep, pretty sure that's a dude. Dungeons of Hinterburg, that was a chick. Oh God, it's woke! Oh no! What sort of games? The complaining about not enough women in games, or complaining that we don't have enough men in games. Both of these arguments are nonsense. You can go through the last few games, the games that we've gotten in the past. Zelda, Resident Evil 4, Jedi Survivor, Dead Space, Spider-Man 2, Atomic Heart, Resident Evil Village, Hi-Fi Rush, God of War, Callisto Protocol, just to name a few. Other games that you can make either or. Let's see. Diablo 4, Dead Island 2, I'm pretty sure you can play whatever that one. Street Fighter 6. Lots of different characters to choose from. The abomination that was Redfall, you can still play male or female. Destiny, obviously. Elden Ring, obviously. If you want to get really picky, the only real AAA games that we've had in a while is that have a guaranteed where you have to play a female. Horizon, Metroid, fantastic. And the abomination that was Forspoken. Am I defending any of these arguments? No, I'm laughing at them all. I'm pointing and laughing, which is what everyone should do. Just because the first character you see in the trailer, let's not talk about Fable, that's, that's point and laugh at Fable all day long. I don't know what the hell they were thinking showing off that character, especially if it ends up where you can customize your character to look however you want to. Point and laugh at that. That was a mistake. They did not have to make her drop dead sexy, but that, that was ridiculous. I don't know what the goal was, that goal of that was, I just, I'm actually stumbling over my words just thinking about it. Anyway, it's nonsense. Just because you see a female, are you scared of women? I don't know. I call out the nonsense where I see it, regardless of what side of the fence it's on, and the reaction to the game, the Xbox Game Showcase, claiming it was woke, is absolute and utter nonsense. Games are fantasies. They're, they're to get us away from the real world. Don't insert ideological bullshit where it doesn't exist. You're not helping your cause at all.
But let me know what you think in the comments. Leave a like, leave a dislike. I appreciate you making it this far. Have a good one.